Okay, so we have a rational expression here and we need to simplify it. How do we do it? Well, anytime you have a rational expression, what you want to do is to factor every single part that you have. We're going to go ahead and start with this guy. So let's do it. I need to find two numbers that when you multiply give you 15 and when you add them give you 2. Now, those numbers are going to be 5 and 3 because look, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. 5 minus 3 is plus 2. Then I'm going to factor the bottom, x squared minus 3x. Well, the only thing I can factor is the x. I take the x and I have x parenthesis x minus 3. Then I'm going to go ahead and factor this top. The first thing I need to do is I see that I have x cubed, x squared, and x. So I need to go ahead and first remove the x or factor the greatest common factor, in this case, the x. So I'm going to get this which is x times x squared plus 4x minus 21. Now I need to factor this piece right here. The factors of 21 that will give me 4 when I add them are going to be 7 and 3. So when I factor that, I get x times x plus 7 times x minus 3. Remember, there is a multiplication sign right here. Moreover, the bottom, I need the factors of 35 that will give me 12, and that's going to be 7 and 5. Now I can go ahead and eliminate. Well, this can go with this. This x can go with its x. The x plus 5 can go with the x plus 5. x plus 7 can go with x plus 7. And finally, I'm only left over with x minus 3. And that's it. That's how you simplify this rational expression.